Okay, now we're ready for our next step where we're going to start applying the paint to our painting of our pet. Um, I just started off with some of the primary colors here. And I also have black and white. And I have a few different size brushes. Oh, this is acrylic paint. I've got a smaller, thinner brush. A kind of flat brush I'm going to use, I think for the background maybe. And a big, thick brush that I might use for thicker lines. So, I'm just going to kind of break this up into shapes. Um, let's see. I'm going to start with the nose. I'm mixing in my paint palette here. I think I want an orange-ish nose. So I'll go ahead and just throw that orange down. Well, that looks pretty good here. Oh, I want some red, like right See his nostrils. Maybe I'll put a little red here so it gives it a little more shading. Uh, let's see. I'm going to rinse my brush because I'm going to re-dip um, right here. And when you're using acrylic paint, you probably don't want to get this on your clothing. And you can thin it out if you want or you can keep it um, thin it out with water a little bit, or you can keep it nice and thick like I have been doing. So now I'm just going to try and find some lines and shapes that I like. And I'm just kind of having fun with the paint here. I kind of saw this curve for his eye. And so I'm just kind of curving that around. I got a little bit of my blue into my yellow. It's giving it this kind of nice green sheen here. Um, I'm going to kind of block this off into shapes and then I'll put some different patterns on my shapes or fill them in just different whole colors. So see how I'm just kind of having fun here blocking out these shapes. I'm kind of trying to follow what I know about um, dog's face like this but I'm also mostly just having fun. Let's see. I think I want more orange. I'm going to put some orange right here. Well, maybe I'll do like orange stripes. And then I'll grab a little red. And kind of throw that down. blue here. I'm going to put some blue, a lot of blue right here, kind of globbing it up. I'm going to grab a little bit of my red and kind of mix it on the page. It's kind of turning a bit purple. Ooh, I'm liking how that looks. I'm using my brush to get kind of this nice furry texture here. Um, I actually may want to throw some purple down here. Just kind of balance my picture out a little bit. So that it's not too much purple in any one spot. And your eye will kind of flow through the painting. Let's see. I think I need more green. Mix a little green here. Kind of fill this in. Green. Oh, I'm going to bring this green all the way here. Oh, I'm going to try some checker pattern here. Whoops, got a little paint in my hand. So I'm using those shapes to kind of block out where I might want to paint some patterns. So I'm filling in my checkerboard here. Let's see, I'm going to put some red down because it's a complementary color of green and just see how that looks here. And when you're painting, you kind of are pushing the edges with your paintbrush. 
And so something to kind of keep in mind as you're applying paint to your picture. Well, that looks interesting. I'm actually going to take some red and just dab some dots right here. I'm going to continue this work throughout the whole thing until I finish the whole piece. And I'll show you a picture of what that looks like. So that's what we're doing today.